Joseph Sawali. The deal is done. He's heading to play for the Waratahs and Australian Rugby and Rugby Union and making the biggest code switch since Israel Folau. Now, there's been speculation for a very long time that Joseph Sawali was the man of Australian rugby's eyes, the man that could change the game of Australian rugby and change the fortune of the Wallabies. Born August 1st, 2003, making him 19 years old as of today from Penrith. He grew up playing rugby league, there's no doubt about that, until he attended the King's School in Parramatta where he played a bit of both rugby league and rugby union. In rugby union... For the King's School in the first 15, he played at fullback and did really well in his time there and made it all the way through into the Australian schoolboys. He was also signed for the Rabbitohs, playing for their Harold Matthews Cup side uh, in the 16s. And then at the end of his schooling career, it was a, a decision he had to make was, was he going to sign with the Rabbitohs or Australian rugby? There was a bit of a battle on hand and in the end he decided to sign with the Rabbitohs. Then a twist came in where, in the end, he ended up with the Sydney Roosters. We won't go into too much details about that today, but then he ended up playing for the Sydney Roosters since 2021. He has recently just signed on for 2024, so playing next year again for the Roosters, but now has officially signed on from 2025 to play for the Wallabies in the British and Irish Lions year, and then has signed for a three-year agreement to play until 2027 when Australia hosts the Rugby World Cup. The contract hasn't been formally announced, but the reported amount is $1.6 million per season, which I believe would have made him the highest earning rugby league player uh, and would definitely make him the highest earning rugby union player on this side of the hemisphere. Going back to Suwali schooling, he was an important part of that Australian schoolboys team that actually defeated the New Zealand schoolboys team 18-14 for the first time on foreign soil in New Zealand. So was a massive member, a part of that team, and had showed his potential in rugby union already. Uh, at 17, he made his debut for the Roosters, actually having to get eligibility to play for the Roosters, as you're not meant to be able to play if you're under the age 18. And we also saw him last year in the Rugby League World Cup in 2022, playing six games for Samoa. Hamish McLennan's simple message of welcome back to rugby, Joseph, sums us up. Although it's so simple, it is a massive signing right after the news of Eddie Jones that one of the biggest superstars in rugby or rugby league has signed with the Wallabies in Rugby Australia and is following in what we can see has been a successful stint for Israel Folau. Obviously, take out the politics with his issues and off-the-field stuff. On the field, he, he brought another level. We saw the Waratahs win a Super Rugby Championship and we saw the Wallabies step up a performance. Uh, you can only imagine what Eddie Jones is going to be able to do when he gets his hands on this young playmaker with freak-ish athletic ability. And I be really, truly believe from 2025 onwards, as I've said in an earlier video, we're going to see a golden generation or the second coming of a golden generation of Australian rugby and the Wallabies and the All Blacks now with Razor in charge will be battling to keep up. Would love to hear your opinion on this Joseph Suwali signing. I would love to hear what you think. If you think he is the right signing, if you think they've put their money in the right places. Obviously, there's a lot of talk about money needing to go to the grassroots. Totally agree with that. But I think this definitely helps with the image of Australian rugby and rugby union in Australia at the moment, signing one of the biggest superstars in the game to be here at the most crucial time in the game. There's no guarantee, obviously, he stays past 2027, but what a signing it is for Australia, and congrats to them. If you like this stuff and you want to stay updated with rugby union news across New Zealand and Australia, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give us a like, follow along. We will talk to you later. This has been the Sports Booth. Goodbye.